Marvel didn't wait too long to give us our first look at the upcoming The Eternals. Concept art for the flick, which will be in the second film in the MCU's Phase 4, was recently released online. It depicts a quartet of the ancient beings known as Celestials walking across the surface of a barren planet. We've been introduced to these things just a couple of times before, once in each of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. In Guardians Volume 1, our heroes travel to the mining colony of Exeter to meet with the Collector, who had some knowledge to impart about the Infinity Stones. Exeter is situated within nowhere, which is actually the severed head of a deceased Celestial. A later scene also seemed to showcase a look at a Celestial as it uses the Power Stone to effortlessly destroy an entire planet. These carriers can use this stone to mow down entire civilizations like wheat in a field. In Guardians Volume 2, we got our first proper introduction to one of the all-powerful entities in the form of Ego, the Living Planet, who was revealed to be the father of Peter Quill. Ego didn't look a lot like the Celestials pictured, but we can assume that Celestials come in all shapes and sizes. Plus, we can assume from Ego's ability to masquerade as a human that Celestials can assume other forms if need be. In Marvel lore, the Celestials existed before virtually any other form of sentient life in the universe. Millions of years ago, they were responsible for the creation of the Eternals, near-immortal, super-powered humanoids, and their polar opposite race, the Deviants, which are essentially the eternal equivalent of mutants. The two races have been locked in struggle for centuries, with the Eternals tasked with defending Earth from the Deviants' conquest. Thus far in the MCU, we haven't met any Eternals that we know of, but we have met one Deviant, Thanos, the Mad Titan who embarked on a quest to collect all six Infinity Stones and wipe out half of all life in the universe, carries the Deviant gene in Marvel Comics. It's not yet known to what extent the Celestials will figure into the narrative of the Eternals. Marvel's head honcho Kevin Feige has hinted that the flick could be an epic spanning tens of thousands of years, so we may only get a look at them in the form of some exposition on the ancient history of the universe. As for the Eternals themselves, we at least have an idea of what the team that will be featured in the movie will look like. Thanks to Marvel's recent panel at San Diego Comic-Con 2019, the entire primary cast was announced at the event, and it includes Richard Madden as Icarus, the leader of the flick's team of heroes, Angelina Jolie as Cena, also known as Azura, who in the comics has been known to consort with Deviants, Kumail Nanjiani as Kingo, who took up residence in Japan thousands of years ago and learned the ways of the samurai, Lauren Ridloff as Makari, an expert mechanical engineer and speedster, Brian Tyree Henry as Fastos, a master weaponsmith, Salma Hayek as Ajak, who has spent most of her thousands of earthly years in Siberia. Finally, young Liam McHugh as Sprite, a trickster who is forever stuck with the appearance of a preteen child. The Eternals begin shooting next month, so hopefully it won't be too long before some unofficial set photos of the stars in costume arrive. Of course, there will probably be plenty of these interesting little hints and revelations that will come trickling out in the wake of Marvel's epic Comic-Con panel. We'll keep our eye out for them, and keep you up to date. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite superheroes are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.